Hey booktube, here's day two of the Advent Unwrapping. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks, usually. But today is day two of the Advent Unwrapping. And um, this is a series that I'm doing where I unwrap two books every day during Advent from the 1st of December until the 25th. I'm doing this with two of my friends and I am thrilled beyond thrilled to be doing this. So this is day two and I'm going to unwrap day two books. They've numbered all theirs. I just sent them mine, but uh, they have Instagram accounts. They're linked below. So uh, try and check them out because this is going to be fun. It's going to be like uh, a daily book haul. Okay, so day two from, this, these are from, or this one's from Jenny, I think. Jenny is really great at multimedia art and scrapbooking and that kind of thing. And so hers are just so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one. I have a whole stack of things back behind me under the tree. Okay, so day two. I love getting books. I love books. I love books. A Patchwork Christmas Collection. Ah, oh, book of short stories. Three Christmas romances with bonus handcraft patterns and cookie recipes. Cool. Well, she knows that I am a sewer. Oh, man, look at the inside. How cool is that? Three stories, and these three stories are some seems like love, like seams, like uh, sewing seams. Seems Like Love by Judith Miller, A Patchwork Love by Stephanie Grace Whitson, and The Bridal Quilt by Nancy Moser. This is going to be so fun. I think that um, these might be period. Uh, I don't know that these are contemporary, but that's what I'm trying to say. In, it is late, yeah, they are. It is late Victorian um, era America, a time when women marry for convenience as often as they marry for love. When passion seems a distant hope, how delightful it is that God surprises three young women with a second chance love just in time for the holidays. Well, she knows I love this stuff. I have been read, meaning to read um, some good Christian fiction, so. This is kind of just the ticket. And she stuck a note in here. I should read this. She says, let me hold this up while I read it. Jen, I read this collection of stories last year and I thought they were sweet and romantic. I hope you like them too. Love, Jenny. And it's kind of a Victorian card. This is fantastic. Thank you so much, Jenny. I am going to thoroughly enjoy these. These are going on my nightstand tonight. Maybe I'll even read one tonight. Okay, uh, day two book from Karen is somewhere in here, I think. Yeah, here it is. Day two from Karen. <sighs> Feels like a paperback. <laughs> I love doing this. I love it. Love, 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 love. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Is this what I, yes! <laughs> it's Starflight by Melissa Landers. And look, it's signed. Oh my gosh, Karen. Oh, you are so wonderful. Thank you so much. This is an ARC and oh, oh my gosh, it's got a bookmark. This is a really great series. It's a duology. Oh my gosh. And there's a little poster kind of thing in here too. She learned that home was a fluid thing and whether on a planet, a satellite or a rusted bucket of a ship, this crew was her home. And there's Melissa Lander's signature. Ah, oh, what a treat. This is such a treat. This is a great series. Um, it's just two books so far. I don't know if it's going to be more, but it's about a crew in space of kind of some mis misfits. Um, think uh, Firefly for the YA crowd. Oh, this is great. <laughs> yep, there it is. There's her signature. Oh, Karen, thank you so much. This is day two, and oh my gosh, how wonderful are these? So, okay, I will be back tomorrow with day three of my Christmas Advent unwrapping. So, if you've read any of these stories, let me know, um, because I'd love to know what your thoughts are, and yeah, same with Starflight. So, until day three, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.